Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome back to the channel. And may I say, Happy New Year. Uh, it's been a minute since I came on doing any crafty videos. This year, I've just been doing a lot of uploading of uh, some cooking videos. But I just wanted to share this project with you guys for the hashtag Saturday Morning Makes sponsored or not sponsored but hosted by jill norwood and i wanted to come on and share with you guys this beautiful apron that i made um last year i purchased some fabric panels i believe it was either off of uh ebay or etsy and when i went to go back to look for the particular seller who I purchased these fabric panels from, I, I couldn't locate it. Uh, like I said, it had been well over a year or so ago. But um, if you're interested in this um, type of um, fabric for aprons, there are a lot of sellers on eBay and Etsy. And all you need to do is just type in vintage Diana Markham grandma's gingerbread apron uh, fabric panel. And you'll see a whole lot of uh, different um, sites, well, people who are selling different types of uh, aprons. So you'll see some with gingerbread and, you know, different patterns, I should say. Um, there are one a couple of things uh, or people that I think are selling um, just the one side uh, panel. Um, but when I got mine, um, I was able to get uh, the two sided. And I believe it's reversible, but um, I'm not really sure. But that's not what I, um, I didn't uh, do a reversible on mine. I got two panels. I got this one. In this pretty uh, cream color and then the second one I got is in this beautiful red background color and I love them both it was just absolutely beautiful and it's just I love this whole design um, this design by Diana Markham it is just amazing and here's the little recipe uh, right here in the um, bottom half of the apron so when I received mine I, I cut everything out but I didn't put it together until just recently so this is the one and then this is the other uh, panel so you get um, all the pieces to make the straps and for the uh, adjustable, well, if you want to do it to where you could uh, adjust it, you all would have to do is make a like a buttonhole and then just attach it and just do it that way. But I sewed mine in. And so I made this one a reversible one. I used some fabric that I had in my stash. And I've been going through a lot of my fabrics just to see what all I, you know, what I have in there. Because I want to start doing some things with them and creating some uh, projects. So this one, this beautiful uh, patchwork pattern here, I thought worked really well. Because it has all the beautiful little hearts in here. And it just goes right along with the hearts that are on um the image uh that diane has created here for the gingerbreads so i think it just works really well uh gives it that vintage feel and i, and I absolutely love it so uh, again uh, i took this panel and then i used the um the coordinating little um straps here and then I just use the same side, you know, the for this pattern here, I should say, the fabric here. The only thing that I did differently in this one was I sewed a pocket here. 
at the top. And then I sewed a pocket here at the lower edge. And I absolutely love it. And if you guys recognize uh, this fabric here. I made a pin cushion. This was last year. And that was the, the fabric that I had. So I had some left over. And I just absolutely just knew that this would be perfect for it. And it's it's funny because... Oh, uh, I think I showed you guys this little chair, too, that I got at a, a yard sale. And look, same fabric. <laughs> so, I just love it. And this is a little pin cushion as well. And I showed this one to you guys uh, a while ago. I think it was in another video. But I just thought that that was just fun to mention that, um, that how I came across this fabric and then came across this little cute chair. And then, you know, of course, making my pin cushion. But anyway, on to, um, this is, uh, like I said, it's double-sided. And then I also made side pockets. So, you see how I like that? And I had so much fun making this apron. Like I said, I love aprons. I love collecting aprons. And very unique ones, but um, when I knew that uh, I, I could just make my own, I was uh, I was just so excited that I had this fabric. So with that, um, I'm going to be making this one, and then for the back. So for this one. I found some fabric. Let me grab it here. I went to Joann's. I went to Joann's and I found some fabric like this. This pretty brown fabric. And then I found this pretty little pattern here, this little gingerbread with the little candy canes. And then I had some red. So my thought, what I want to do is to take this piece here and back it up to this one, to this panel. And then use the brown to make a pocket. And also, uh, let me add that when you get the fabric panel, you'll also get these pieces like this. And you'll get the big gigantic uh, gingerbread here. You'll get the little tiny ones. And this, yeah, this one came with this one. And then this one, this panel came with this, with this, uh, this fabric panel. So, because the textures are a little bit different. This one has more of a canvasy type of feel. Um, real durable. And then this one is more of a light cotton, real light, lightweight. So I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, you get this these uh, cutouts here. So that is my plan is to cut out this gingerbread and put it on the pocket here. And then sew it on this side because I don't want to cover. I don't want to cover the image with anything because it's just absolutely adorable. Just so pretty. And I love red. So this was just right up my alley. Don't these colors go together just really beautifully? This red and this gold. Just absolutely beautiful. Love Diana Markham's artwork. Just absolutely love it. And uh, I also, it's funny though too, 
I also have the um, the stamp here for the recipe. And here's the, um, these are the additional stamps that come uh, with the uh, monthly subscription to adorn it. So I'm going to be making some little um, gingerbread tags uh, with this, with the recipe. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm excited to get started on making this apron. Uh, I just can't wait. It's going to turn out really great. Uh, with the red, um, I think what I'm going to do is make a trim like a um uh what do you you know how you do a um just a, a ribbon edge down at the bottom and just gonna have like a pleated trim it's just gonna be really pretty but I'll, I'll have to come back and show you guys the finished product on that so I just wanted to come on real quick and share this with you for the hashtag Saturday Morning Makes. And I hope everyone is staying warm and staying crafty and staying well. So uh, until the next time, uh, next video, I will see you guys later. Take care and be safe. Bye-bye.